Embroidered knitwear is gaining in popularity and it's a fun way to embellish finish makes. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this super simple beginner stitch, the lazy daisy stitch. Don't worry if you haven't had any practice with sewing or embroidery because this tutorial is perfect for beginners and the stitch is super simple. The yarn that I'm going to be using today is called Premier Rustic. It's a soft bulky weight acrylic. The yarn is great for beginners because it's thick, soft enough to be worn next to skin, and a beautiful heathered colour as well as being super affordable too. So, I've got my needle threaded here, and the first thing that we're going to do is bring the needle up from the back of the work through to the front. So pick a spot a little bit away from the other flowers. This is where the centre of your flower is going to be, where all the petals are going to come from. So just pull the needle up and then pull it tight. So now you need to decide the size of your flower. Mine's going to be about this size, just small. And so you're going to place your needle back through the same hole that you just came up from. But don't pull the thread all the way through. Leave a little loop for the size of your petal. So then you need to bring the needle up to the end of the petal and through the loop that you just made in order to secure it. So then pull the yarn through and then make a small little stitch about a centimetre long which is going to keep the petal in place. So just on the other side of the loop that you just made, do a little stitch. So there you go, that's your first petal finished. Um, to make a full flower, we're going to do five identical petals around the centre, evenly spaced apart. I love how the flowers give a lot of character to such a simple design. The stitch is so cute and addictive. It makes me want to add embroidery to all my hand makes. I also love how even if the flowers are a little wonky or imperfect, they still look stunning. I love how craft celebrates the imperfections and brings beauty out of them. I'd love to see what you make with this stitch. Tag me at Lily Pearl Design on social media when you post pictures of your finished makes.